This video will cover concepts from Word 2013 Unit C, Formatting Text and Paragraphs. You can find this unit in your Office 2013 book beginning on page Word 50. And this video will cover objectives such as formatting with fonts, using the Format Painter. So first, let's take a look at how to do things such as formatting with fonts. The first thing that we want to do in this document is take a look at the font size list arrow which is in the font group. The font size um, list arrow is here in the font group on the home tab of our ribbon. And as you can see here I can do things such as increase the font size, I can decrease the font size, Using the drop-down list, I can choose a specific font size, or I can even type in my own font size if the one that I need is not listed. So the first thing that I will do is I am going to select some text. Now I would like for you to notice that if I select text and then hover over different font sizes or different fonts, I actually get a live preview. Let me make it, I'm going to move this over so you can see it a little bit better. But if you look at the um, text that I have selected, I actually get a live preview of what that font would look like without even having to actually select it. But in this case, I am going to go ahead and I'm going to select a font. And I'm also going to select a font size. And I'm just going to move that back over to where it was. Another thing that I can do as far as formatting fonts go is I can change the font color. So once again, if I have my text selected, and in this case, if I click, click on the, um, the font color list arrow here, I see a selection of colors. This is my color gallery. And I see lots of colors in different tints and shades. And if you look behind this menu, again, you can see that as I hover over each of these colors, I get a live preview of what I'm choosing. You also see that as I hover over a color, I get a little pop-up that tells me the exact name and shade and accent of that color, which is helpful when you're um, looking in the book and being directed to choose a specific color. So I'm just going to choose one here, and when I actually click on it, it does change my selected text to that color. The next thing that I would like to show you is how to use the Format Painter. And the Format Painter is a powerful word feature that allows you to copy all of your format settings applied to selected text to other text. So it can really, really help you make format changes quickly instead of having to do them individually. And let me show you what that means. Um, I'm going to choose some text in this first paragraph. So I'm just going to choose immediate booking as um, essential. And maybe I want this text to stand out. So I'm going to do a couple different things to it. I'm just going to do them right here from the mini toolbar. Maybe I want to change the font color, maybe I want to make it bold, and italics, and maybe I'm even going to make it just a little bit larger. Now, that was, what, three or four changes that I made to that one section of text. And maybe I have some other text that I need to make that same format change to, but I don't want to have to do that many clicks every time, plus who knows if I'll remember exactly what clicks I used to do that. So instead, I can use the Format Painter. So, in your clipboard group on the Home tab, I'm going to choose the Format Painter. And this time, I'm just going to click on it once. Notice I have this text still selected because this is telling the Format Painter what to paint with. So I click it once, and now notice that my mouse is a paintbrush. So maybe I want to highlight the text Choose Between and I want it to be formatted exactly like immediate booking is essential. So in this case, I can simply select that text, 
and the Format Painter formats it for me without me having to do all the clicks. Now if there were several places I needed to format in that matter, I would still select the text that has the format I want, but instead of clicking once on the Format Painter, I would double click, and now that Format Painter is going to stay on until I click again to turn it off. So I can use the Format Painter as much as I want, and then when I'm finished, I simply click it one time to turn it off. So the Format Painter is a great help and can save you lots of time.